What is crack happening, guys? It is your boy Dan from Pinpoint Wildlife. Dan! And today we're talking about five reptiles that maybe aren't the best beginner pet. So we did the five great beginner reptiles. Now we're going to talk about five not so great beginner reptiles. And my criteria for this list is basically like... I'm not going to mention like, oh, a crocodile is a bad beginner reptile. Because obviously no one's going to get a crocodile to start out with. So number five on this list, I know I just mentioned not the obvious answers, but... This one is kind of obvious. Um, monitor lizards, big snake, any any big snake, big boa, big python, or big lizard, like just all of those. Because you know there there are some exceptions. You'll you'll be able to find boa constrictors that are smaller. I know sand boa was on our beginner reptile list. But most of the boas, not so great picks. Um, I wouldn't re recommend anyone to get a reticulated python as their first pet. You don't want to have to strangle your first pet out of its cage to even clean up the cage. And for monitor lizards, most monitor lizards are huge. They are very uh, energetic. They need a lot of space. They need a, a varied diet. Even um, if you were to get a smaller monitor lizard, like an Aki monitor, they're smaller, yes. You're gonna require a little bit less space, yes, but it's it's a monitor lizard, and to me, it's just it's a second choice. It's it's a it's a more of an intermediate pet. It's not something that I would start out with. So I'm gonna put those on the number five spot. So that takes us to number four on our list, and that is going to be the green anole. And I think a lot of people know about the green anole, so they don't seem too bad from the start. But I, I would say you're gonna need to feed them dusted crickets. And live crickets aren't for everybody. A lot of people don't like that. Um, you're also going to make sure the cage never gets too cold. It has to stay like probably above like 70 degrees. Um, you're gonna have to keep the humidity high, at least like 70% humidity. You can't really hold these. You, I mean, you can kind of, but they're not something you can just hang out with. It's not like a crested gecko. It's not like a ball python where you can just kind of chill with it on the couch. You kind of have to limit your time holding them because they're not a very handleable species. They're really fast, they're really skittish, they're shy. And to me, they're just, they're not a great beginner pet. They're, they're pretty fragile. There's better options out there. That's, that's basically the best way to put it. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, make sure you do your research and really look into it. They can make a good beginner pet, but for some people expecting something different, it can make a not so good beginner pet. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get at in this video. So you guys have probably heard of the green iguana and green iguanas really don't make great pets. And I think the biggest reason is they're big. Yeah. Next up on our list is number three and number three is going to be the green iguana. And the green iguana is super well known. I think everybody knows about the green iguana, even if you're not really into reptiles. They're invasive in Florida, they're everywhere, and at this point we can't even stop them. And I want to tell you guys a story. I used to have a green iguana. We were in Florida. Um, my grandma, she drove to, down to Florida. The rest of my family, we kind of flew down. And she said, why don't I surprise them and buy this little lizard for $20 at a flea market and bring it back up to here in Wisconsin and see if they'll they'll like this pet. I'll surprise them with this this little lizard. And she had it in a little basket. We got a little tank for it and it was kind of cool. He was a little feisty, but we really didn't think nothing of it. A couple years down the line. Giant green iguana that's still feisty still hates our guts and the cage had to have been upgraded like three times so definitely not a great beginner pet I, I wouldn't recommend anyone getting a green iguana unless you have a pretty good amount of experience they need high humidity they need good basking spots and they need a lot of vegetables they're strictly vegetarian you got to go to the grocery store all the time to get the vegetables it's just more problems than it's 
than it's anything else. And um, I'm sure if you were to put a lot of time into it, get a great big cage, and really work on the behavior of this animal, it, it could be a great pet. But for a beginner, I feel like it's too much work, too much dedication, and probably too much money to, to own something like a green iguana. And for it to be as popular, maybe not as much as it was in the past, but it's still a very popular reptile. It's not for everybody. And that one definitely has to be said. Numero dos, aquatic turtles. Aquatic turtles, I'm just grouping all aquatic turtles in this one. Um, man, I used to work at a pet store. Damn. And I don't know why, but people all the time would bring like, they'd bring a little turtle they caught in a pond or they'd, they'd get a turtle from a friend. They don't know what the hell they're doing. And they're like, Hey, um, uh, what do I do for this turtle? And I'm like, okay, at least he's asking me, at least he's trying to figure it out. Um, I would go to the back, print out a care guide, give them a checklist of everything they need to get. And they're like, okay, I got this little, this little Michelangelo, this little ninja turtle. It's gonna be real easy. I'm gonna just put it in the thing and my, my little eight year old is gonna be fine with it. No, it is not. It's, you're gonna need a filter. You're gonna need varied diets. You're gonna need to be able to clean that tank all the time. You're gonna have to have bare minimum a 40 gallon tank. And all that stuff, it's not, it's not a great pet. And I say that for all aquatic turtles. A lot of them get huge. A lot of them need big tanks. It might start out, you know, that big, but they're gonna get this big and you're, you're not ready for that you're not ready for that as a beginner and I'd rather be harder on people and tell them not to get it than to be oh well it might be a good pet for you because a lot of times it's not a good pet and a lot of people don't do enough research and they don't really get that backbone that knowledge before they get the animal and it's kind of like oh I'm starting to figure out this isn't a great pet for me and then they just keep the pet you know or they wait and release it into the wild because they don't want it no more. It might get shell rot, it might, you know, have a lot of problems because it's in a cage that's too small for the turtle. There's too many things that could go wrong. Even though a lot of turtles are very hardy creatures, they can tolerate being in very shitty conditions. Don't do it because you don't want the turtle to suffer. It's just not a great pet. You can get aquatic turtles, but get some experience, get some backbone in the reptile hobby learn a little bit, then get a turtle, and then be like, yeah, this turtle's cool. Number freaking one. Take a guess, what do you think it is? What's what's a really cool reptile that everyone probably is like, oh, that'd be badass, that, I want that. Thing. Everybody wants a chameleon. At least I wanted one when I was a kid. I was like 12 years old, I was like, dad, can I get a chameleon? Chameleon sounds so cool. You know, they got eyes that go like this, you know? You just stick their tongue out and, whoosh, whoosh, and they'll grab their, they grab their crickets or whatever they're eating. And they're just, they're so interesting. They're so different from every other reptile. I want one, but I'm not going to get one because they're way too difficult to care for. And you shouldn't get one either unless you're ready for one. You know, they're from a very humid environment. If you're not spraying that cage, if you're not making sure your, your temperatures aren't getting too low, you could easily make the chameleon have health issues in a matter of weeks. Um, most people who own chameleons, even if they think they're caring for them properly, are still going to require an exotic vet that's going to touch up on them and constantly monitor their health because they're very fragile. A lot of them, even with proper care, live like five to seven years, which is very short for a reptile. They're very prone to stress and they're just, they're not great. They're not great. There's too many things that can go wrong with a chameleon. Um, and that's that's saying the easiest species to care for is probably a veiled chameleon and even they can have a lot of issues don't do it to yourself look at something that is easier look at something like a ball python look at something like a crested gecko a leopard gecko um, something that you probably have the time to care for now if if you're really trying to get one and you want it as a first pet i you gotta research you gotta look at multiple different sites got to make that cage plant it have it set up get the plants in there a month before you get that chameleon and really like check on forums and stuff like that make sure you're ready for the chameleon don't just get a chameleon because you saw it at a pet shop and it looks cool 
you got to really plan for them. And that's, that's the best thing I can say for honestly anything on this list. People do not plan enough. People kind of, um, people make decisions because it looks cool. You're not buying a shoe when you get a reptile. You're buying something that is going to be a maintenance life form that you have to care for. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this animal. I know everything about it. I'm not going to have any issues. You have to, you have to research. You have to expect the unexpected. filming a video. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me do my outro real fast. No, I don't care. Alright, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, so if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, check out my other videos, do all that stuff, share my stuff if you want to, you don't have to, but it is appreciated. Um, even just viewing this helps a lot, so Check out my new videos whenever I post them, and check out my old videos if you haven't already. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. And I did want to put another honorable mention on this list before we end this. Crocodiles. <laughs>